Hey, how's it going guys? So we're back with another Star Wars reaction video and if you're new to the channel, welcome. So this one is called the 10 highest kill counts in Star Wars. Now I'm really curious to hear like who has the highest kill count and like how did they achieve it? But just looking at um, the thumbnail itself, you see Luke Skywalker, Grand Moff Tarkin and Darth Nihilus. And I know for a fact Darth Nihilus would definitely have killed a lot because he's able to consume planets and Grand Moff Tarkin, it would be because of the Death Star he used on Alderaan. And uh, Luke Skywalker, hmm. I mean, he's been around for quite a while, so I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, let's check out this video and see who has the highest kill count. So without anything else, let's jump into the video. Star Wars doesn't take its own title lightly. The galaxy far, far away is a dangerous place, wrought with conflict and warfare that requires its citizens to make the tough calls. Given that, several of the galaxy's most prolific characters have all racked up a sizable kill count. Some truly destructive instances will stand out in audiences' minds, but there are also plenty of smaller wartime victories and defeats with plenty of casualties that may be easily overlooked. These are the top 10 kill counts in Star Wars. For transparency, we are taking these numbers from the List of Deaths wiki. They claim to track deaths in movies, TV series, games, etc. To be honest, I Damn, have no a lot idea of work. this site existed until researching this video. It is a bit of a shady source, but it's the best we've got. Let's dive in. Okay, but I mean, whoever's tracking those kind of kill counts, that takes a Number lot of time 10, and Dooku, research. 1,500,625 kills. The first entry on our list Damn, is the exquisite Jedi turned Sith Lord, Darth Tyrannus. Count Dooku's largest credited incident on this list came when his master, Darth Sidious, ordered him to eliminate Asajj Ventress, feeling that she had become too powerful and was thus a threat to the rule of two, attempting to kill Ventress as she dueled Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker aboard a droid flagship, Dooku had a hyena-class bomber crash into the hangar. The ship exploded soon afterwards. The casualties were said to include 1,500,350 Okay, so we're crew including members, droids as well, but droids are sentient droids, too, so... ...and 126 droid tri-fighters. Dooku's other kills came sparingly throughout the Clone Wars, as well as comics and novels. Number 9, Luke Skywalker. 1,449,324 kills. Jedi Knight and Rebel Hero, Luke Skywalker won the Rebellion one of their greatest victories to save the Rebel Alliance's base on Yavin 4. Yes, this is the first of many entries who either destroyed a super weapon oh, the Death or Star. used one. Reaching out with the Force, Luke that would explain fired a shot that would wipe out the Empire's first Death Star. Over 1.5 million Imperials were on board the battle station when Luke Skywalker destroyed it, including high-ranking officers like Grand Moff Tarkin. This earned the young Jedi hopeful an intimidating kill count. While there has been some debate over whether such an action can be justified, had Luke not destroyed the Death Star, it would have gone on to end countless more lives. Luke also has a few other impressive large-scale kills, including when he blew up an at, -AT walker on Hoth, said to contain 43 Imperials. In Return of the Jedi, Luke racked up 20 kills, including a couple of scout troopers and several of Jabba the Hutt's enforcers when he blew up the Crime Lord's sail barge. Have you ever yep. wanted to represent your favorite Star Wars characters, but in a more classy way? Well, I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Gentle Bands. Gentle Bands focuses on reimagining rings, paying close attention to so, craftsmanship and Red 5 has details. been getting a lot of sponsors lately, and I'm really happy for them. Band. You shouldn't have to settle for something that doesn't represent who you are. Gentle that looks Bands like the Lord of the Rings ring. <laughs> from classic sci-fi films and games to create the Galactic Collection. And of course, there are several rings inspired by Star Wars. Let me show you. This is the If I get married, craft, I want that. <laughs> an elegant ring that represents the classic lightsabers of both the Jedi and Sith. This particular ring is crafted from solid tungsten, one of the most durable metals known to man. I also love that it comes in four different colors to represent different lightsaber blades. The classic blue for the Anakin Skywalker or Obi-Wan Kenobi fan, green if you're more of a Yoda or Qui-Gon Jinn person, red if you prefer the Sith like Darth Vader or Darth Maul, and the rare purple for Mace Windu. By the way, they offer and Darth a free Revan. engraving service, and their materials are 100% ethically and sustainably sourced. 
by going to Gentle Bands at the link in the video description or pinned comment and using the discount code RED5, you'll get 25% off on the Sabercraft or any of the other finely crafted rings at Gentle Bands. Back to the video. Number 8, Lando Calrissian, 1,844,141 kills. Oh, because he blew up the second Death Star. the first Death Star, the Empire was quick to replace the weapon with the larger and more powerful Death Star 2. In Return of the Jedi, Lando Calrissian flew the Millennium Falcon into the heart of the super weapon and destroyed it over Endor. Although fully armed and operational, Technically, wouldn't the second Wedge Death Star's construction kill? <laughs> was incomplete at the time of its destruction, but the list of deaths claimed there were just over 1.8 million on board. Lando also shot down a few TIE fighters during the Battle of Yavin, and shot a single stormtrooper in each of The Empire Strikes Back and The Rise of Skywalker. Number 7, Wrecker. 2,451,000 oh, because he blew up the fleet. Kills. The unconventional but highly effective Bad Batch can be expected to have an impressively high kill count between them. But it would probably come to no surprise to you that the explosion loving wrecker has the highest kill count of the squad. The majority of these were not seen on the yeah, Bad there Batch, go, but, he but blew it in up. his first appearance on the Clone Wars, when Anakin Skywalker allowed him to detonate the flagship of the Separatist Admiral Trench. As it blew up, Trench's ship took out two other Separatist frigates. The casualties were said to include 2,450,412 droid crew members, 480 vulture droids, 120 tri-fighter droids, and 10 hyena bombers. That's before you even get into his numerous other kills throughout the Clone Wars and three seasons of The Bad Batch. In fact, the total given by the List of Deaths wiki doesn't even include the final two seasons, Yet he's still in the top seven. Number six, Barris Afi, three million five hundred thousand forty-six kills. There are two main Wait, incidents why is Barris? which contribute to Barris Afi's high kill count. The first of which was when she and Ahsoka Tano destroyed a droid factory during the Second Battle of Geonosis. Oh, this, that's right. She and Ahsoka each are credited with three million five hundred thousand forty-two droids and Geonosians. Each? Another major incident, which the wiki we're sourcing seemed to forget was the bombing of the Jedi Temple's hangar. Having become yeah, I was thinking about that. with the fact that the Jedi Order were leading the war against the Separatists, Barriss Afi used nanodroids to trigger an explosion that killed 8 clone troopers, 12 crew workers, and 6 Jedi. Barriss may have also added a name or two to this list in Tales of the Empire, but we oh, won't yeah, spoil she killed another. given how recently that show was released. Number 5, Ahsoka Tano, 4,002,915 kills. The Damn, apprentice Ahsoka. of Anakin Skywalker, who by the way missed out on the top 10 with a kill count of just over 153,000, Ahsoka Tano was a daring and fearless Jedi. As we just mentioned, Ahsoka worked alongside Barriss to destroy the droid factory in the second Battle of Geonosis, crediting her with just over 3.5 million kills. Her other two most notable incidents occur in the Clone Wars episodes Storm Over Ryloth and Downfall of a Droid, where she blew up Separatist flagships, totaling over 500,000 combined kills. The remainder of Ahsoka's oh, are okay. largely battle droids throughout various battles in the Clone Wars, with her largest total being 90 during the landing at Point Rain on Geonosis, where she and her master were keeping score. Number 4, Orson Krennic, 11,300,019 kills. This is where we start to get because some of the seriously Star? large numbers, with Director Krennic's kill count over double that of Ahsoka's. The director of the Imperial Military Department of Advanced Weapons Research and the original commander of the first Death Star, Director Krennic was responsible for a vast number of deaths, when first testing the Empire superweapon, Krennic had the Death Star destroy the holy city of Jeddah. The exact number of deaths caused by Krennic's first Death Star blast is hard to determine. The planet was said to have a population of 11.3 million, but the blast was only a single reactor ignition that was intended to destroy a single city. Still, it did cause a massive shockwave and ejected debris into space. It seems Krennic's number was exaggerated on this list, but he definitely killed a lot of people on Jeddah, both in the initial explosion and subsequent shockwave, and likely afterwards in the terrible conditions that followed on the planet, akin to what a nuclear explosion would be like on Earth as clouds blocked out the sun and ashes rained down. 
Number three, Grand Moff Tarkin, 2 billion, 19 kills. We all knew this one was coming. Alderaan. After the Death Star's power was demonstrated in the destruction of Jetta City, Grand Moff Tarkin assumed control of the battle station. This, of course, culminated with Tarkin using the Death Star to destroy a planet for the first time when he targeted Princess Leia's home planet of Alderaan. Alderaan had a population of 2 billion at the time of its destruction. The given number Damn, doesn't 2 billion. even Earth include currently has like 8 billion. super weapon at the Imperial base on 7 Sarek, to 8 billion. which would have killed likely at least 100,000 or so Imperials and Rebels alike. Number 2, Darth Nihilus, 6 billion, 556 million, 396,720 so kills. An insanely powerful Dark Lord of the Sith, Darth Nihilus was a wound in the Force with an endless hunger. He was forced to call upon the dark side of the Force to encase his spirit within his mask and armor to stay alive. Nihilus was responsible for the devastation of the planet Qatar simply by speaking. The Sith Lord's hunger overwhelmed wow. and obliterated the surface of the planet, wiping out an entire colony of Jedi and anything else touched by the Force on the world. 6,556,396,720 died instantly when Nihilus spoke in front of their world. You can wipe one, out the entire Armitage Earth. Earth. 155 billion, 572 million, 361,720 oh, right. It was in episode kills. 7, he used General the Armitage Star Killer Base. First order was placed in command of Star Killer Base, a weapon that dwarfed the Death Star in both size and destructive capability. Built into the ice planet of Ilum, Star Killer Base took things further than the Death Star, capable of destroying multiple planets at once. In an act of war aimed at ending the reign of the New Republic, Hux ordered Starkiller Base to fire on the New Republic's then capital world of Hosnian Prime, along with four other planets in the Hosnian system. The combined death toll for this action, which became known as the Hosnian Cataclysm, is believed to be over 155 billion. This makes Hux directly responsible for far more deaths than any other character in Star Wars and it's not particularly close. But what did you think of this list? Did any entry surprise you, or was there a character you were certain would have made the top 10 that didn't? Let me know in the comments. Come join us to chat more at our community Discord server linked in the description. All right, so there you guys have it, the 10 highest kill counts in Star Wars. So I'm gonna address this uh, one by one. So to be honest, in the highest uh, kill counts, um, I was actually thinking that maybe Darth Vader uh, or would have been like uh, part of it but I don't know because I'm like you, you see how ruthless, uh, ruthless he is and all that so I thought maybe he was still been a part of it but I keep on forgetting when I first got into this video the 10 highest kill counts I was thinking about like organic life you know like um, humans alien species things like that but then I just realized that the separatist army was completely um like mechanized it was like all droids so i was like of course so if you don't count droids then their kill count's gonna be so low but um most of them you know were achieved through like um machinery and things like that but what dark nihilus in my opinion stood out the most because he did it through force he didn't do it through like machines or weapons or uh, like war machines or anything like that so i say he, uh, he may be number two but in my opinion he's the deadliest out of all like all of them because uh, Grand Moff Tarkin relied on the Death Star, uh, General Hux uh, relied on Starkiller Base and also uh, you know uh, Director Craig also relied on the Death Star and Luke Skywalker uh, achieved it through an X-Wing so they all used something that assisted them with that kill but Darth Nihilus was just himself so that's why I think he is very OP and the deadliest out of the entire list but then again that's just my opinion that's my observation that's my thinking but anyways uh, in your in the top 10 highest kill counts uh, which one do you think is the most well deserved like i said in my opinion dark nihilus but anyways thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you watched all the way to the end thank you so much for that and also check out my other videos i have on my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when i drop another video and thank you so much for your support i really do appreciate it and until then i'll see you guys next time